Good morning. My name is Gigi. Prof. Gigi, 14 June 2020, my message with the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. My message is concerning the border. I remember 2018, I was given my prophecy to the nation Israel that I see a border conflict between Israel and the other nation. This is what is going on underground. I pray that God give you wisdom to make a right decision because it affects so much when this is happen. We will continue to pray for a nation Israel and the other nation in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Following a Friday phone call with the King of Bahrain and Israel's leader, the U.S. President made this announcement on Twitter. Israel and the Kingdom of Bahrain would be establishing full diplomatic relations. Bahrain now joins the United Arab Emirates after its announcement last month that the country would be establishing full diplomatic ties with Israel, which includes opening embassies in both countries. Both leaders also agreed that Bahrain will fully normalize its diplomatic relations with Israel. Trump's now encouraging other Arab nations to consider similar steps. Their leadership is proving that the future can be filled with hope and does not need to be predetermined by conflicts of the past. The agreements to end hostilities with Israel are set to be formalized on Tuesday at a signing ceremony at the White House and will advance the Trump administration's goal of realigning Arab nations with Israel against Iran. First, I want to thank you for your leadership on this issue. Your first Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner helped broker the deal following failed efforts to strike a peace deal between Israel and the Palestinians. The Palestinians have rejected the Trump administration's peace plan released in January. In a statement, Palestinian leaders called the deal with Bahrain a betrayal, which supports the legalization of Israel's ugly crimes against the Palestinian people. Bahrain's actions are often viewed as an extension of policy of Saudi Arabia, whose ties with the United States have strengthened under President Trump. Indeed, Trump has protected the kingdom repeatedly even as the U.S. Congress sought to block weapons sales and take punitive action against the Saudi crown prince following the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Trump has hinted the Saudis could be the next country to strike a deal with Israel. Saudi Arabia was doing things that they're not doing anymore, and so are other countries and neighbors. They are doing things that they just uh, would never have done. The agreements come less than two months before the U.S. election, and already President Trump is touting the deals as a major foreign policy victory. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, the White House.